with three snakes there's something you gotta have which is a deep freeze and so I keep the you know, large mice in here for the corn snake and then we've got large rats for the boas so we're good to go there and I buy them about twice a year so they come in bags of five large rat rodent pro not an endorsement uh, and certainly not sponsored but they do a phenomenal job get these in hot water for about an hour and they're then ready to go so while we're waiting for the mice and the rats to defrost maybe I'll just give you a look at a couple of uh, the snakes so first we'll take out the boy he said he's about three years old and he's eating a large rat about once every seven to ten days but he's grown nicely he's about 72 inches long and the genie is about 60 inches long and when I feed this guy he's not a very aggressive feeder so I actually just put the rat in his house so he doesn't get any substrate on it and he just eats in his cage takes him about an hour or two to find it get after it and enjoy it but we'll let him crawl back in his house so she's under here in her hide so maybe we'll Zoom in a little on that for you. There's Nagini, half in her house. Okay, so Nagini's ready to eat. So we'll get a nice big rat for her. We'll just leave her in there with that one. Pedro is simply drop the rat in. And he'll just chill out in there and get it when he's ready. Alright, last but not least is the 26 year old corn snake or whatever he is. Corny. Let's see how we do with old Corny. There we go. He still got it.
Well, she's all done. I leave her in the feed box for about 15-20 minutes and she's all done. So I'm just gently going to pick her up, make sure she doesn't think it's any more feeding time. Support her body. Ooh. She's heavy. There we go. Like I said, I had to go away for about an hour or two and I came back and Pedro's getting very interested. I'm going to back off so he doesn't lose interest. That's good, she's going into the warm side. What you see back there is the probe. And up above here is a radiant heat panel. I've got one on each of the boa cages. So that probe comes up here to the vivarium electronics. And I've got the VE200D that controls both cages. So that's been a nice setup, maintaining about 80 85 to 88 degrees. So that's all for this time around, feeding the boas and the corn snake.